Hi and welcome back to our channel. I'm thrilled to have you here with us and today we've got an important topic to discuss. We're delving into the world of dash cam videos that just won't play. I know how frustrating it can be when you can't access those precious recordings, but worry not because we have some fantastic solutions for you. Before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to leave a comment down below because we'd love hearing from you. Now, let's get straight to the heart of the matter. Why are your dash cam videos not playing? Well, there could actually be several reasons behind the issue, so let's explore them in detail and find the perfect solution for you. Firstly, let's understand the reasons why your dash cam videos might refuse to play. One of the most common culprits is recording videos to a physically damaged SD card, because when your storage medium is compromised, it can easily lead to playback issues. Another factor could be incompatible video formats or even codec problems. And finally, corrupted or fragmented video files can also prevent them from playing seamlessly. Now that we've identified some of the main reasons, let's move on to the more exciting part, the solutions. Now that we understand the main reasons behind dash cam video playback issues, let's explore some effective solutions to get those videos playing again. This powerful software specializes in repairing corrupted video files, and here's how you can use Repair It to repair your corrupted dash cam videos. Firstly, download and install Wondershare Repair It Video Repair from their official website. Next, launch the software and click on Add to import your corrupted dash cam video file. Select the desired video file and click on the Repair button to initiate the repair process. Now, all we need to do is wait for the software to repair the video file. This can take some time depending on your file size and the extent of the corruption. Once the repair process is complete, preview the repaired video file and click on Save to store it in a location of your choice. Sometimes outdated or incompatible drivers can also cause video playback issues, so follow these steps to reinstall the driver. Open the device manager on your computer by pressing the Windows key and searching for device manager. Locate the dash cam driver under the sound, video and game controller section. Right click on the driver and select uninstall device. Once it's uninstalled, restart your computer. After the restart, Windows will automatically reinstall the driver. Alternatively, you can also download the latest drivers from your manufacturer's website and install it manually. Running the check disk utility can also help to identify and fix any file system errors in your storage device, and here's how you can perform it. Open File Explorer and select this PC. Right click on the drive that contains your Windows operating system, which is usually drive C, and press Properties. Navigate to the Tools tab and click on Check. If no errors are found, a prompt will tell you that you don't need to scan this drive. However, if you want to scan the drive anyway, just click Scan Drive. When Check Disk is finished, click on the Show Details button to view any errors that were repaired. Or click Close to close the window. Occasionally, conflicts in drive letter assignments can also lead to video playback problems, so follow these steps to assign a new drive letter. Open Disk Management by right-clicking on the Start menu and searching for Disk Management. Next, locate your dash cam storage device in the list of drives. Right-click on the dash cam storage device and select Change Drive Letter and Paths. Click on Change and choose a new unique drive letter from the drop-down menu. And finally, click on OK to save these changes. VLC is a popular media player that can handle various video formats, and here's how you can repair your dash cam videos using VLC. Download and install VLC Media Player from their official website. Launch VLC and go to Media in the menu bar. Select Convert slash Save from the drop-down menu. In the File tab, click on Add to import your dash cam video file. Click on the Convert slash Save button. In the Convert window, choose a destination folder and provide a new file name. Click on Start to begin the repair process, and VLC will create a new repaired version of your video file. These five solutions provide you with practical ways to overcome the dash cam video playback issue, but now let's move on to some valuable tips to help you avoid dash cam video corruption in future. 
By following these simple tips, you can ensure your videos remain intact and easily playable. First and foremost, make sure to use a high quality and reliable memory card for your dash cam. Investing in a reputable brand and choosing a memory card that is specifically designed for continuous recording and has a high data transfer rate is absolutely crucial. This will minimize the chances of dash cam video corruption and ensure smooth video playback. Whenever an unexpected event occurs while you're driving, such as an accident or even sudden braking, it's important that you immediately lock that dash cam footage. Most dash cams have a dedicated button or an auto lock feature that allows you to protect that video clip from being overwritten or deleted, and this way you can reserve that crucial footage for later reference without any risk of file corruption. When you're finished using your dash cam, it's essential to follow the proper shutdown procedure to avoid any potential issues. Make sure the device has fully stopped recording and writing files before disconnecting the power or removing the memory card, as abruptly cutting off the power supply or removing the memory card while the dash cam is still in the process of writing data can lead to file corruption. While event detection features on dash cams can be beneficial for capturing noteworthy moments, it's important to be cautious with their usage. Constant triggering of event detection for minor movements or vibrations while you're driving along can lead to excessive file writing and increase the chances of video corruption. So evaluate your specific needs and adjust your event detection settings accordingly to avoid unnecessary strain on the memory card. Lastly, it's always a wise idea to have spare SD cards on hand. SD cards can occasionally develop issues and fail over time, leading to potential dash cam video corruption. By carrying extra SD cards, you can quickly replace a faulty one and ensure uninterrupted recording without risking the loss of important footage. Remember, by implementing these tips, you can significantly reduce the risk of dash cam video corruption and enjoy smooth playback of your recorded moments. And there you have it. Essential information on why dash cam videos may not play and how you can tackle this issue effectively. We hope you found this video informative and useful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any other questions or additional tips. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.